So I want to talk just a bit about how you can control the camera of the owl. In most cases, you're going to want to allow the owl to just on its own recognize who's speaking, automatically adjust. But there are times when maybe you're doing an activity on the board. You want to force the owl to stay focused on the board itself. So there's an app that you can use, the Meeting Owl app, that you can download. There's an app for uh, iPhones iPads and Android devices. And basically when you connect to the app, it will search for nearby owls. So you're gonna to wanna to find the owl associated with the room that you're in. And when you, I don't know how well you can see this, I will show a screenshot of this here in a minute. Uh, when you select the Meeting Owl Pro, so this one is just called Meeting Owl Pro, it's gonna choose connect. And you're gonna see there's a few options. The one you wanna select is the camera controls. So when I select camera controls, give it a minute as it loads, and I'm going to choose camera lock. So you'll notice, now notice, there's an option at the bottom that says take control. So if I choose take control, now I can use this to move the meeting out. So let me switch the camera back to the meeting out so you can see what this will look like. So now I've got the meeting out connected and look at the top of the 360 degree view. You're going to see a blue rectangle surrounding it. That is the view and I'm using my finger on my phone to set where I want the camera to focus. So right now I have it focused up on the board. I put my phone down for a minute and if I walk around the room, you see me on the 360 view on the opposite side of the room, but the owl itself is still focused on the board. Still focused on the board. So if I move into the frame, obviously you'll see me in the frame. I can continue writing if I want. But if I move, if there's a discussion going on and you want the view focused on the board, you would leave camera lock on. Now, when you're in camera lock, and let me switch back to my webcam view of my laptop. When you're back here, you're going to see there's an option to reset autofocus. When I select that, reset autofocus, it's going to release the meeting out settings back to where it was before, so that again, the meeting out will adjust based on the noises that it hears. So again, I've given up that control. Right now, uh, there is no lock to the meeting out control in the sense that anyone with the app who's in the vicinity of that L itself uh, will be um, able to take control of the L. Uh, the people at L know that's a potential problem in a classroom environment. Um, so they are working on a setting that will allow you to lock control of changing the meeting owl settings uh, and camera, uh, and hopefully that will be out before uh, school year starts. So that's, that's an overview of the meeting owl. Uh, it really is a device that will allow us, whether we have one student missing or half the students missing in your classroom, to be able to connect remotely and feel like they are part of your classroom community. We evaluated a number of other options. We looked at devices like the Swivel, um, telepresence, robots, all sorts of options that are out there. We felt that the meeting out provided the uh, best flexibility, uh, the most functionality, and the simplest ease of use. It truly is plug and play. You'll be able to get started very quickly and really allow those students who are connecting remotely to feel like they're part of your, your classes.